Pizza Vegas back in, and I'm looking for the car show. No idea where that is, but let's get this review started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, guys. It is, I think, 6.50 right now. I've got like 10 minutes before the show. Cop Theater is over this way. Unfortunately, the uh, MGM Grand is the largest hotel and casino in Las Vegas. I think second technically only to Venetian, but that's uh, technically two hotels and casinos, Venetian Plaza. So if we're talking freestanding casino, this is uh, pretty much it. So definitely going to be uh, booking, my, booking my butt across this uh, casino floor here, and hopefully I'm going to find the theater in time. So uh, yeah, wish me luck. Fastest thing alive, guys. Oh my god, Toast, this thing is halfway across the blasted casino. Uh, looks like I probably made it with seconds to spare. Now it's time for me to go ahead and grab my ticket. Um, it looks like I've missed whatever the pre-show is, but no really it gives a damn. <laughs> It's a Shirk Disley pre-show. I don't know, you guys know I'm kind of... If I'm going for free, it's cool. But I'm, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure if it relates to the story. But yeah, let's get in there. So we're heading into the car theater right now. Um, ooh. Smells like popcorn. And it's built up something pretty nice over here. So there's no actual filming during the show. So I'm going to have to get some clips together. And then we'll... Uh, We'll do a review later, but it looks like we're getting led to our seats right now, so I'm going to cut this off. Alright guys, so I am officially leaving car right now, and it was interesting, I gotta admit. Uh, choreography was really good. Uh, there are a lot of other things I have to say about it, so let me go ahead and gather my thoughts, and then I'll uh, find some clips to play over it so I can talk a full review. Okay, let's get the obvious out of the way. You can't complain about a Cirque show. They're usually bright, colorful, and fun. Well, usually, anyway. Ka is no exception to the rule. The narrative of Ka is simple. It's, quote, the coming of age of a young man and a young woman through their encounters with love, conflict, and the duality of the Ka, the fire that can unite or separate, destroy, or illuminate. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'll try to translate it. A brother and a sister are royalty in a prosperous kingdom, and then they're accosted by a bunch of brigands and separated, where they go on a series of misadventures with their friends and followers. Until eventually they meet someone pretty, and go on to reunite their family and their kingdom. And also everyone knows Wushu Kung Fu for some reason, it's pretty weird. The thing about Ka is, unlike many Cirque shows, they don't actually have any discernible dialogue during the acts, or even during set changes. This is a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, it's not weighed down by too much story. On the other hand, there's a lot of story being told that I feel like we're only getting a fraction of the storyline that the author intended to tell. But Cirque shows are certainly not all about the narrative. The set design is pretty creative, actually. Most of it occurs on these moving platforms, so everything's in the air and constantly moving. They vary from mountains to beaches to ships and even sheer cliffs and rainstorms. It's pretty impressive. And all the sets fly in and out of the shot on the fly. Same deal with the costumes. Costumes are also bright, colorful, and varied. They invoke a feeling of Chinese royalty and even some Pacific Islander tribal clothing as well. I very much enjoyed it. Very creative and family friendly if you ask me. The choreography is definitely the show's strong suit. It's an amazing combination of martial arts and acrobatics. It's certainly not violent or grotesque, just pretty action-packed for a Cirque show, and quite tasteful. It's a pretty strong performance, really. Actually, it really reminded me of an episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, where they went to go see a play about themselves. Now for the bad news, the show feels a little long. I'm not really sure what it is about Cirque shows, but they all seem to hate intermissions. And I really feel like it should just be an hour show and that's it. Hour and a half with intermission, maybe. And what made it worse is just the lack of a narrative. I didn't know how far we were and how the plot was advancing, so I feel like I got a little story arc fatigued. Also, it was a pretty safe show. I suppose I'm used to Cirque shows being a little more risque, and I anticipated that from a Vegas Cirque show. And the acting didn't hold me. I know it's not meant to be character acting, but I just didn't find the characters compelling. Which is why I didn't really seem to care what happened in the story. But not in the Blue Man Group sort of way, more of a Season 7 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer sort of way. 
It wasn't character acted or connected very well, but the structure was a hard narrative and presented as less of a circus, so I found the content suffered and made it somewhat boring at times as a result. That said, I think the good really outweighs the bad, and that's enough for me to give Ka by Cirque du Soleil a 3 out of 5. Viva Aces Vegas. 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 Viva Aces Vegas.